and the other products that we have available. The Wedding Protector Plan is underwritten by travelers, and we have a strong 15-year history of providing wedding insurance coverage to couples, protecting them from unforeseen wedding mishaps. So what exactly is wedding insurance? Weddings are, without a doubt, back to pre-pandemic levels. And we are all feeling the wedding boom as the industry is still recovering from the pandemic shift. Now that the average wedding is nearly $30,000, wedding insurance is needed more than ever to protect the financial investments of our brides and grooms. This is why I wanted to borrow from those. Wedding insurance helps make things right if something goes wrong. It offers financial protection if unfortunate, unforeseen events occur during the time prior to the wedding and including the day of the wedding. Our policy is underwritten by travelers and it has no deductible. It can provide coverage for the rehearsal ceremony, rehearsal dinner, the wedding ceremony and reception, and the post-wedding brunch the following day. It covers a variety of unexpected situations, giving peace of mind to all involved in the planning process. Now, if technology works, this is a cute short video that travelers produce to give an overview of the variety of coverages that we offer. Megan, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So um, do we want to move on to um, the dress? The... Or no? Or no? Yes, we're getting right there. Okay. I couldn't tell. Never no, you're mind. good. Okay. <laughs> so here's a segue of what could go wrong. We're going to look at some more details with Gina and Donna. If Donna's on. If not, Gina, can you run with absolutely, it? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so first is the dress. And um, the coverage, it can cover repair or replacement costs of the bride's gown or the groom's tux if it's lost or damaged. So some of the claims that we've seen, we had one where a bridal shop had a fire and the gown had smoke damage and they couldn't get the smell out. So we um, re had replacement costs so they could buy a new dress. We've also had a situation where people were going to a destination wedding and the airline lost the dress and the tux. So those are the types of coverages that our policy can reimburse them so that they can get a new dress or new tux and uh, move on with the wedding. Okay. Um, severe weather. So this is a big one for us in uh, Florida, of course, but really anywhere because um, the weather just gets crazy. Um, so the policy has a 14 day waiting period after purchase for catastrophic weather, which includes everything from hurricanes, tropical storms, floods, blizzards, nor'easters, tornadoes, and then a lot of customers that are in California and out west, it also has coverage for wildfires. And if that's a case and the 
pol the wedding is canceled or postponed, the policy can reimburse them for any lost deposits um, made to not only the venue, but to vendors. I'm gonna back up to lost deposits if you have anything else in relation to that, not just severe weather, but other situations oh, yes. too. Yeah, so the policy will also cover uh, deposits if a vendor or a venue goes out of business, uh, declares bankruptcy before the event, or simply fails to show up. Uh, we had a situation where um, actually it was a caterer and they showed up three hours late. So people were already leaving the reception and they never um, were fed. And so they paid for all of this food and the, the uh, caterer never showed. So our policy would cover those uh, lost deposits. Sudden illness is next. Okay, so our policy, like um, all of the other event policies on the market, doesn't cover anything COVID related. There's just not a carrier on the market that covers that. But ours will cover sudden illness and injury as long as it's not COVID or pre-existing, and that covers the bride, the groom, the bride's family, and the groom's family. So that would be parents, siblings, and grandparents. If they're in an accident or a sudden illness appears, uh, we had a situation where the week of the wedding, the bride had to have her appendix taken out. It was an emergency situation that was unforeseen. And our policy reimbursed her up to the maximum because at that point, um, the, we, the wedding was just a few days away and the caterer and the florist, all of their products are perishable. So they weren't able to get their money back. So we've refunded them um, everything up to the limit that they selected. Okay, um, ruined photos and video. This one, we seem to have more claims in this category. Um, we've had situations where not only will the policy cover if the photographer doesn't show, um, we had a situation where they hired a photographer and a videographer and the video person didn't show, but they didn't refund the money. So we took care of that. But for ruined photos and videos, a claim came in just this week that they'd been waiting on their photos. It had been six months after the wedding and they sent them a flash drive and there was nothing on the flash drive, no mm -hmm. pictures whatsoever. So our policy reimburses them for um, the deposits, but it also can um, cover reshooting the photos. So obviously it probably can't, since the wedding is over, but maybe they can do some nice bridal pictures outside or something like that. So our policy will cover that as well. Okay, lost rings. So a lot of people confuse this. This isn't for the engagement ring. This is for the wedding bands and it'll cover repair or replacement cost if the bride or groom's wedding bands are lost or damaged. So if the um, best man loses the wedding bands, the policy can reimburse so that they can get new wedding bands in order to keep the ceremony going. And that's what most of these smaller coverages are. The catastrophic weather and the cancellation postponement limit really cover if it's gonna be canceled or postponed due to weather, sudden illness, um, venue bankruptcy, or if the venue burns down and these smaller little limits for the rings and the dresses and so forth, that coverage is there to help them recover quickly from something small in order to help the wedding go on. So like with the lost rings, it will give them extra money to get some other rings so that they can continue with the wedding as planned. Okay, uh, damaged gifts. And the big thing with the damaged gifts to remember is this is, does not cover theft. So it covers things if they need to repair or replace the costs of gifts that are destroyed. So let's say they're opening up a, a beautiful present and it's crystal and it's damaged or broken. 
our policy will replace um, that damaged item, whether it's crystal or china or whatever item that may be damaged. Okay, call to duty. This one, um, we see a lot of people purchasing our policy just for this reason, which is very important. <clears throat> this will cover if the bride or the groom, if they're in the military and they're unexpectedly called to duty, um, or if let's say they've already received approval from their commander for the time off for the wedding, but then their military service leave is revoked. And that would trigger the cancellation postponement limit because that's beyond their control. And this way, our policy would uh, refund deposits or purchases made so that they can have the wedding at another time. Okay, additional expense. Additional expense is a wonderful addition that Travelers has on this policy. So all the losses we talked about, whether it's the ring or the dress um, or the photographs, if there's a loss deposit that's not the venue, it's the vendor, not only do they get the money back in lost deposits, we also have built into the policy additional expense. And what this does is this will cover any unexpected expense incurred in order to keep the wedding going. So let's say we had one a couple years ago where during the reception, the venue lost power. And so the groomsmen went to a Home Depot or something and they rented generators and they hooked everything up to the generators, they had electricity and the wedding continued. So after the wedding, they filed a claim for the additional expense of the generators and it was covered because that expense was incurred in order to keep the wedding going. Uh, same things for the ring. So the lost deposit for the rings, but then also the additional expense they might use because sometimes when you lose a vendor last minute, you may have to pay more, more money than you originally contracted for because it is last minute. And so the additional expense will help in that way as well. Okay. And so now we had the wedding venue requirements. So a lot of the time people call us because the venue requires um, liability coverage. And this policy that we have, it covers bodily injury or property damage caused by the guests because the venue has their own coverage for their negligence. If there's water on the floor and somebody slips and falls, but our policy will cover in case somebody is dancing and they knock down an elderly person and that person sprains their ankle. Or we had one where at the venue, the bride's family rented these beautiful white outdoor tents and a guest accidentally put a cigar burn in the side of the tent. And those tents can be very, very pricey. So in those mm. situations, our policy, they would submit a claim and then the clients don't have to pay that out of pocket. We'll take care of that for them because a lot of the times people don't realize when you sign your uh, contract with the venue, you're responsible for the guests. And so this will cover that for them. Okay. Uh, liquor liability is another hot item that people are needing. Um, Hi, Trish. A lot of people, um, they assume that the caterer or the venue, since they're serving, would take care of this. And their bartenders do have liability. But ours, once again, will cover bodily injury or property damage by an intoxicated guest on premise. So uh, there's no drive away coverage if they get in their car, it's just on premise. Uh, some of the claims that we've seen for liquor liability, we had a guest that was intoxicated 
and they spilled their drink all over the computer keyboard for the DJ. And that was a couple thousand dollars and our policy covered that. Or if a guest is intoxicated and falls down or knocks hey, somebody else down. Thank you. The policy would cover that. Thank you, Regina. Appreciate mm -hmm. that and stepping mm -hmm. in for Donna. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Donna. Hi. Do <laughs> um, you want to go ahead and give a little background? Sure. Um, I've been in personal insurance for about 16 years and the last four and a half have been with the wedding protector plan and protector plan for events, um, which is a fabulous policy and really enjoy it. Great. We'll catch up with you in just a moment. <laughs> okay. So here's an overview of how our policy works. The wedding protector plan may be purchased up to two years in advance of the wedding date. We do recommend that couples purchase a policy as soon as the planning begins and deposits are placed. Catastrophic weather coverage is included if the policy is purchased at least 14 days in advance of the wedding, assuming there are no known storms at the time of purchase or reasons to file a claim. Our policy is written in the state where the policyholder resides, not necessarily where the event is taking place. The policy is not available to residents of Alaska, Hawaii, or Louisiana. However, we can provide coverage for destination weddings in these three states. As Gina touched on, the amount of insurance purchased should be enough to cover the total cost of the wedding in the event of a complete cancellation. Liability and liquor liability are optional add-on coverage features to our policy that provide coverage on the event premise for the event and up to 2 a.m. the following morning. Wedding insurance can be purchased for destination weddings in these listed countries. We unfortunately don't offer international liability insurance. We're starting to see a lot of requests for Mexico liability requests. Um, so at this time, we don't have a solution for that, but it's something that we're actively looking for. We are often asked if wedding insurance will cover COVID-19 cancellations. And unfortunately the answer is no, because the pandemic is a known situation at this point. Claims assistance from travelers is provided 24 hours a day, seven days a week for support. And it's important to keep in mind that coverage may vary by state. If you or your clients ever have any questions about our policy, please just give us a call, send us an email, send us a quick note, we're happy to help. Travelers recently revealed its most common wedding insurance claims from last year with vendor related issues topping the list at almost one third of paid claims. Knowing the wedding day issues that come up the most frequently can help families avoid costly disruptions and plan accordingly. So beyond vendor issues, the other common claims included property damage at 19%, sudden illness or injury at 18%, catastrophic weather, 6% of claims and military deployment of 6% of claims. We know that you love your clients and we only want the best for you and them, but you're also running a business too and likely have bills to pay. Sometimes things happen that are beyond your control, their control, anyone's control. If an unfortunate situation occurs, and one of your weddings is canceled, are you prepared to give back contracted payments to your clients or potentially lose money by moving the event to another open date? So in this situation, if they had had wedding insurance and the wedding was canceled for a covered reason, you now keep your contracted payments and the client instead files a claim with their insurance policy. We'll talk about how you can help your couples when it comes to wedding insurance next. Educate, educate, educate. Discuss the importance of having wedding insurance with your clients. 
how it could bring them peace of mind during the planning process and where they can purchase it. And think about passing the responsibility back to your client and consider updating your contract with your attorney to include a wedding insurance section. Have your clients initial that section after they review it. If they decline to purchase wedding insurance, that's okay. But at least they know about it and they understand the risk of not protecting their financial investment. If an unexpected situation happens down the road, you have already now done your due diligence. Event professionals looking to become more involved with wedding insurance may request a unique web link where clients can purchase wedding insurance from their own websites and view marketing materials. So now couples can purchase the insurance directly on your website and you gain the additional benefit of increased traffic to that website, which can boost your SEO. And it's also an additional service that you are providing to your clients. We'll still be there for you and your clients to answer any policy questions, so you do not have to act as an insurance agent. If you're interested in obtaining a customized web link, you can drop a comment in the chat with your email address, and Jennifer, she's going to collect them and get everything set up for you. So Donna and Regina are going to walk us through some of the frequently asked questions that we get. Gina, you're on mute. We always get the question when to purchase the wedding insurance. And so our policies can be purchased up to two years in advance. So we recommend as soon as they start paying deposits and signing contracts to get it in place. Because a lot of the times the claims that do come in, come in months before the wedding. It's usually, um, there's some that are closer, but sometimes it's months. So for an example, I uh, just completed a policy for a bride that's getting married in 2024, which makes sense because two years is a long time to have that money exposed because a lot of things can happen with vendors going out of business, catastrophic weather that could damage the venue and close it down and so forth. Um, the second question, um, why might I choose Traveler's Wedding over any other brand? And it's because travelers, um, they offer several advantages that other policies don't have. Um, it has no deductibles where other policies you have to, um, it has deductible limits that you can adjust. Um, also, if you have a claim or a loss, they're paid from the first dollar up to the applicable limit. Um, and also the application process is easy. They can either give us a call, they can purchase it directly online, or if you set up a, a link with Jennifer, they can purchase it directly from your website. Um, and also Travelers is a trusted source and we're well-respected insurer. And we have a fabulous claims department that can take care of your clients. Um, Let's see here. Also, um, the third question, I only need liability coverage. Can I purchase it without cancellation? So a lot of times we have clients that just want to fulfill the venue's requirements of the liability for bodily injury or property damage. Our policy is a package because it's designed to, com to cover the complete wedding. So not only will it cover their financial exposure, it will also cover the liability that the venue requires. Okay, Donna, if you wanna go ahead. Yes, the sample policy is viewable on our website, protectmywedding.com. It's the third question on the top of the screen under the frequently asked questions or FAQ but you don't have to remember that. You can either email us or call us or the person can call us and they can see that themselves. Um, it's by state um, and they can see all of the language, the um, different costs. I mean, not the cost, but the different coverages and explanations and exclusions of that policy. Um, 
and this, this is a popular one, does the wedding protector plan uh, provide coverage for change of heart? So that is an exclusion. Um, the decision not to have the event isn't covered. Um, and that includes changing your mind or changing, you know, that you don't want to get married to the person, changing the, that idea. Um, and then would liquor, uh, the liability or liquor liability extend off of premises? And the answer to that is no. Um, the policy is on premises liability only because we're not underwriting people's driving records. You're 150 guests. We're not asking who's got tickets or whatever. So that vehicles are actually excluded on the policy, whether that's a golf cart that they're using on an estate, you know, during the event or getting in their car afterwards and driving off. Thank you, Dawn and Regina. So in addition to wedding insurance, we have other products to assist you and your clients. We love weddings, but we also love events. And we provide the exact same policy for private events that are hosted by an individual, such as bar and bat mitzvahs, birthdays and anniversary parties, showers, and more. So the main concept here is excuse me, protecting the financial investment. We also offer jewelry insurance through travelers. So if your clients own valuable wear or irreplaceable items, such as their engagement rings and wedding bands, they may benefit from a separate jewelry insurance policy that goes beyond the wedding. It's an annual policy. If they're interested in getting a quote, they simply call this number and mention that they were referred by the wedding protector plan. We love chatting weddings and we have so enjoyed our time with you today. Um, please reach out if you have any questions, wanna chat. Um, here is our phone number and email. We're also very social, say hi. If your clients have questions, they can call us directly if they're interested in purchasing insurance on their own. They simply go to protectmywedding.com. There's a button that they'll find, start a quote and they do everything online with a credit card. Policies emailed to them with a declarations page. So if the venue is requiring insurance, all they have to do is provide that PDF deck page and they're listed. So now we'll open it up for questions or comments. Annika, I don't know if you wanna to feel the, the questions, I can't see them. Yep, I have, we have one question so far. It says, can we get a link of the traveler's video to share with clients and on social media? Yes, absolutely. And it's actually on our YouTube. So we will provide a link to our YouTube channel that has that video as well as all of our other um, tips and wedding insurance informational videos. Great, and one more question from Jen. How quick does the reimbursement take place for the dress attire? Tina, Donna, do you have any information on the claims process? I know that um, there's not a, a specific time limit. I know that claims, I've had um, individuals and wedding planners um, explain that they actually had to use or a client had to use the policy and they got reimbursed very quickly. I know in one case it was like within the week that money was refunded. And then on the flip side of that, I've seen where claims has been waiting on a document because there's certain things they need to settle a claim. Like if you have a claim about your florist, they need the contract with the florist and they need to know the pay payments that were made so that they could confirm that's what occurred is something's covered by the policy and then how much is covered by the policy. And if they're waiting on a document, they cannot settle the claim. So mm -hmm. that could drag on, but it wouldn't be the claims department's necessarily fault if they can't have the document they need to settle it. But I've, I've heard where like, the person has got confirmation that the checks in the mail within you know days of speaking to the claims department. 
I think that brings up a great point to Donna that these are covering contracted expenses only. So you, the bride and groom need to make sure that they're the contract holder and everything is laid out in the contract, how much has been paid or expected to pay the schedule. So in the event of a claim, it's easy to reference um, if there's any type of receipts or electronic receipts. If your client can go ahead and just keep all of that as they're planning their wedding together, just in case, that's going to make the claim process go a lot faster. And to your point of contracted, if it's a friend or family member that's doing something for them, they can make up something. I mean, they can make up a document that they both agree to or, in, you know, have an email chain that shows that, yes, we're going to be providing the flowers, you know, for little or nothing for you, you know, say they're auntie likes to do the flowers, the value of those flowers are going to be X, Y, and Z. So that, because if there's no dollar value, then claims can't um, pay for that. Even if the person is donating all their time and doing these beautiful arrangements, what would they have to get, you know, in terms of insurance, uh, you know, if they got the flower flowers, um, you know, again, had to purchase the flowers again, and that person was going to do it again for free, or would there be additional cost or something like that? They should sort of spell that out. If there was a claim, if they can't do it now, what is it, you know, that they're out, their materials, their, you know, uh, anything else that they're not charging um, so that there's a value? Great. Great. Did anybody else have any other questions? You can either put it in the chat or unmute and and ask. No. Has anyone had um, a bride or groom or a wedding where there was a cancellation and they didn't have insurance? I know I did this year, but it was COVID related. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, the bride and groom were due at the church and they were requiring testing, of course. And the groom tested positive. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. So, so hard. canceled. <laughs> Great. Oh, and Margie asks Can you give us a range in cost for the insurance policies? Sure. Um, and that is on the quote system on our website too. You don't have to complete the quote. You can just click the button to submit a quote. And on the first screen, you'll see all of the limits and the costs listed there. But it starts 7,500 is a cost of $160. And then 25,000, just to give you an idea, is $255. That's a one-time cost. And it can be done up to two years in advance. So a dress generally costs more than $200, even if you got it on sale. It's worth it to buy that coverage just for that one item. If the dress got ruined at the cleaners, it'd be covered. And then do you recommend that they cover the cost of insurance out for their budget? Like what they're Correct. planning to spend or what they're... Correct. Like okay. everything included, not just the venue. But are they getting a makeup artist? Are they having a DJ? Are they having flowers? Are they having a limo? Are they having, all of those costs may or may not be refundable. And so if you couldn't have the whole thing because there was a power outage, then what would you be out if the venue can't refund you or any of your vendors, what would they lose? Right. And Elise asked, do you carry insurance for wedding planners? Okay, so business insurance. We don't at this time. I know at one point ABC offered a resource for that. And I think it was through Markel. No. Arbenuccio, no. right? Um, it was, yeah. Yep. yep. So if if ABC doesn't offer that resource, I think RV Nuccio still provides um, business insurance for 
wedding and event professionals. Mm -hmm. And then Heather asked, can additional protection be added later? For instance, if their budget was 50,000, but they ended up spending 75. Yes. Yeah, you would just pay the difference. Like if they started this year and their wedding's not till next November and they think it's gonna be 50,000, um, in most states, that's a cost of, let's see, 25,355, a one-time payment, and 75,000 is $500 they would pay that difference. They would call us into our department and say, I need to increase my coverage. We would take that difference, that payment, and then adjust the policy and email them the updated policy all within that phone call. They would be done in five minutes. Great, great. And then as far as destination weddings, I know we all do quite a bit of those here. Um, I noticed that you did offer um, insurance in some of the crib throughout the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more about what is and what isn't covered as far as that is concerned? So it's going to be kind of like the exact same policy and situation if you were having your wedding stateside. Um, so it's covering the rehearsal ceremony, rehearsal dinner, the ceremony and reception, and the post wedding brunch the following day. Um, so you would still want to ensure all your contracted expenses for the wedding. And the only difference is we don't offer that liability insurance, but we can protect the financial investment of those specific events. Awesome. Right. And for Mexico, it mm -hmm. wasn't on the list. It's a case by case basis. Um, but we do some parts of Mexico. You would let us know the location. You would generally email us the complete um, name of the venue and street address and whatever their location of their venue is going to be. And then the other thing that's um, for Mexico is that it has to be taking place all in within one resort or hotel. So whereas like in the United States or even in the Caribbean, there's not that requirement. Because Mexico is one of the newer, it is a, we just started offering it again. There was a phase where we weren't offering it um, about a year ago. And underwriting requires that everything be taking place within that one venue. So they couldn't have a church wedding off site come back to have their reception at the hotel, the, the resort would have to be the sole location for where the people are staying and all the events are taking place for us to be able to consider a location in Mexico. That's a little bit different than the other. We don't ask that anywhere else. And I don't see any other questions. Anybody think of anything else they want to ask? I guess that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Well, I know I really appreciated the information. I had to take some notes while I went through and I definitely appreciate it. I know I got my link and I'm ready to <laughs> require insurance going forward, especially after they get last couple of years <laughs> it's wild out there with weather and just you know everybody is kind of suit happy these days and yeah. things happen there's a lot of moving parts to wedding as everybody on this call knows that is for sure well thank you so much thank for having all. us and we thank really appreciate you. it no problem thank you you guys have a great thank rest you. of your night thank you everyone you thank you bye-bye bye bye, bye.